Hi everyone, welcome back and thank you for joining me this week. This week I have a few new things from Orly. So first and foremost, they have their new um, Builder in a Bottle. So this is a building gel, obviously in a bottle. So it comes in their polish size bottles. And they say you get about 16 applications per bottle. So about 16 sets of nails. And I'm also showing off their new forms. Uh, so these are their perfect fit forms. And they do come in either a box of 100 or they also have a box of 500. And they come on a roll. It's not just individual on the, in the box there. Um, and then they also have these new files. So they come in a five pack and they call them their buffer file duo. So they have a 100 grit on one side and a foam file on the other. And I did do all hand filing just to show off that file in the builder in a bottle nail. And then I did use a form as well, did an extension on myself using the builder in a bottle. And this was my first time ever touching this stuff. I've had a demo done with it before, um, but I've never actually used it myself. So I wanted to really give you my true honest opinion on how it works without having any practice with it. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's all the new stuff I got for you this week. And thank you for always liking, commenting, and subscribing, and thanks for joining me again. Okay, so these are the nails from three weeks ago. You can see the matte nails are a little bit stained. It's just kind of how it goes with matte top coats, um, at least with the Light Elegance one. But as per usual, starting out with Cutique, this is a cuticle softener made by Orly. It is an active enzyme, uh, it's an active protein enzyme, and it just helps to soften and break down that protein residue on the nails. And then taking the Nail Basics Cuticle Push and gently pushing back the cuticle, lifting it up gently, and then just, uh, I don't wanna say scraping, but pulling that um, protein residue off the nail. And then of course, giving that a really good cleanse with some after wipe. It's especially important with the Cutique as it um, neutralizes the enzyme and then it really cleanses everything so you still get a good bond with your gel. Then moving on to the prep, I wanted to show you the mandrel that we sell at Nail Basics. This is a screw top mandrel. These little O-rings are replaceable as well and the uh, arbor band just goes right on to the mandrel and you tighten it just finger tight with your fingers. This style of mandrel will help save your handpiece. If you're using a push dial and pushing the bits on in your handpiece, you can actually wear down the bearings inside. They're just little tiny metal balls in there and then your uh, handpiece can end up heating up a lot and you can cause other problems in the motor as well uh, once your bearings are gone. So using the screw top mandrel, it's just a better alternative. It's really easy to use and they are stainless steel as well. They're made from really high quality materials so they won't break off inside of your machine if you drop it. But just doing prep as I normally would, um, but for this particular set, uh, because I am using the Orly Builder in a bottle, I'm actually taking off as much product from my last set as I can. Normally I would leave on anything that's still bonded well, but I really wanna give this builder a bottle a real true test and see how well it works right on my natural nail with no additional help or support from uh, my existing Nail Basics gel. So just being really careful and gentle 
just tapping off that product and only going down until the natural nail is exposed so I'm not doing any damage to my natural nail.
Then once I have all the product removed, I like to shape my natural nails before I put any extra product on. This just helps to cut down on file time at the end. So I'm using the 100 grit side of the Light Elegance Finish file to just shape my natural nail into the shape that I'm looking for for my finished nail. And then once I'm done with that, giving those a really good cleanse with After Wipe once again to cleanse and clean and dehydrate the natural nail. Now for this set, I'm still going to use bondage as my bonding agent. It's by far my favorite. I've used a lot of different ones over the years and I still like bondage the best, but I think with the builder in a bottle, you could probably use whatever bonding agent you like the best and still have decent results. Um, but with bondage, applying two to five coats onto the natural nail, uh, you'll know that you have enough when the bondage looks sticky. Okay, so here it is, the new Orly Gel FX Builder in a Bottle. It is a clear building gel, and this is my first time ever using it. I haven't played around with it at all, so I tried a couple different things out. I started by kind of painting it all onto my nail, and then building up my supports and doing it that way. Um, I do find that this product self levels very quickly. I don't think I would recommend this for a newer tech as it does take some pretty quick working. Um, it might be a little bit different on an actual client because I tend to work from a side view on myself so I found it was really running off to one side on me but um, I still, it, it does require some some pretty quick work to make happen and uh, you can definitely only do one nail at a time with this. And then I did try another technique on my second finger here, trying to build my supports first and then sort of float the product back like I would with um, Flex. 
but it didn't really work as well. I definitely recommend just painting the whole nail first and then building in your supports that way. So that's what I did for the rest of my nails. And then I am just giving it a quick like 10 to 20 second cure in between each nail uh, just so it doesn't move on me.
And then these new forms from Orly. I have to admit I don't usually use these long kind of stiletto style forms, but I didn't hate it. I did find it super, super long when I put it on, but they are pretty easy to work with. I still found myself wanting to bend the arms of the form back. It just made it a little easier for me to put on, but otherwise placement wasn't too, too difficult, dif difficult for me. Um, and then as far as working on it, I didn't have any issues with it moving around on me. It was really easy to see where my product was going. They have really good guidelines on these forms. So all in all, pretty impressed with those. Uh, the gel seemed to cure really well on them also. So no issues there. And as you can see with the builder in a bottle, this is the technique that they recommended. Uh, so the first step is to build from a third of the nail. So right around that support area down onto the form and build the extension and then just flash cure that and then paint from the cuticle all the way to the edge, flash cure that, then take the form off and actually build the supports and your apex and everything else. So I did that in a couple steps and just cured in between. Um, I wanted to do a really long stiletto with the builder in, in, a, in a bottle. Oh, that's kind of a tongue twister. <laughs> um, but I wanted to build a long nail so that I could really put it to the test. Um, they claim this gel is as strong as a hard gel, but it is technically a soak off. So I wanted to try it out and see how well it actually works. And then once you have that applied, it does get a 60 second cure in LED or two minutes in UV.
And then after that final cure, giving it again a really good cleanse with some afterwipe, removing that inhibition layer. And then I'm trying out the new Orly Buffer File Duo here. So I did do this hand all with hand filing and I will say right now I do not hand file ever. But I didn't mind this. I find the file itself is a little bit on the coarse side. I did sort of catch my finger at one point and nick myself a bit, but I think that's also partly due to never hand filing anything. Um, but all in all, it did work well. I like the foamy side of it. It really smoothed the nail out well. I didn't really find any huge issues with it. It's a nice file in general. Um, I did like it for shaping my stiletto, although it's a little bit of a wonky shape. Um, it's a little bit sort of like more curved on one side, but I think that was partly due to my application. Um, just with the brush being in the bottle, you can't really go back and fix where you've laid down the gel. You have to really lay it down where you want it to be. So that was kind of more of an application thing, less of a filing thing. But I did like this file for getting nice straight lines. It's quite rigid, um, so I did like that. And then I did just go back in as well with a little bit of gel um, because I had a bit of a dip. So that's definitely something that you can do with the builder in a bottle, just like you could do with any other gel. Just apply it right onto that rough surface of the buffed nail.
and then once again giving those a good cleanse when you're done now i really wanted to show you the new young nails airbrush in this video but i was having some technical difficulties with it so i figured i better play with it for another week before i do a demo with it so that when you guys have questions if you do have issues i can give you answers on how to fix it so all i've done for my nails this week is just a quick coat of now and zen but this is just one coat and it has really awesome coverage this color is absolutely beautiful for fall um, it is in the new shibui collection from light elegance and um, yeah it's really gorgeous so just stay tuned next week and I will definitely have an airbrush video for you. But like I said, I just wanted to play with it a little bit more in case anybody runs into the same problems I was having and then we can actually help you with them. So finishing this look off with a coat of super shiny and giving that your final cure.
And a final wipe with after wipe. A little bit of a finish file at the end. and of course a little bit of cuticle oil. So I hope that you've enjoyed this week's video. I'm looking forward to seeing how the Orly Builder in a bottle holds up, especially this stiletto nail. So stay tuned in three weeks from now and I'll be doing another Watch Me Work video and filling the Builder in a Bottle nail so you can see how the lifting is and how that stiletto held up and yeah, so thank you for joining me again, and thank you as always for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and don't forget that you can also support us by liking us on Facebook and following us on Instagram.